Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are back playing Four-Sided Fantasy. We have the split screen. Let's see, how... How do I wanna go about doing this? I wanna have it high enough to where I can jump into it. Will that work? Hey, wow, that's actually- that actually worked. Am I different sizes here? No, okay. This looks a bit strange, I guess. There we go, so we do that, and then we just do this. Yeah, there we go. And it changed perspective- ooh! I know exactly what we need to do. Let's see... Do I? I'm pressing the wrong keys here. Where am I trying to go here? Uh... Oh my. I just wanna... So I can store this over there... Raise it up... Oh, well, I messed that up. Oh well, it's coming back this way anyway. And I didn't really make it as high as I wanted to, but hopefully that's high enough. Yeah, it's just high- barely high enough. Hey, come back! Don't- don't go away. <laughs> Alright, let's explore our two screens here. This one... Okay, so... I guess we have to go up. What about this area? Another... Pretty much closed off area. Alright. Hey, there it is! Gotcha! Oh, and it was, uh, it was in- it was in this screen over here. That is really cool! <laughs> oh, goodness, holy- Man, whenever it does that... <laughs> freaks me out. I'm guessing we just want to ascend here? Ooh, how would we do that, though? Oh! Oh, it's recursive! Wait, wait, so if I... Whoa! Holy... Mind blown. Oh wait, so... Which one am I on now? Okay. That is... That is strange! Recursive. Wow. This just gets getting cooler and cooler. Oh, goodness! Achievement unlocked, got a split. Okay, now we're doing horizontal splits. Fair enough. Ah, there we go. Ta-da! I obtained the battery. And I'm assuming I want to use it on this screen? Yeah, here we go. Same wraparound rules still apply. Hmm. <laughs> that is really clever the way this ended up here. Of 
or is it? Hang on, I think I... Oh, I, I botched this. Let me, uh... Yeah, go back to here. How do I want to do this? Oh, duh. <laughs> I'll, I'll do it the easy way. There we go. Oh, where is that now? Is that also recursive, or... I guess we can just drop into it. <laughs> this is fascinating. Huh. What do I do now? Oh! Right, right, okay. So in that case... There we go! Oh, now is that- is that water? What is that? Oh, it's just different coloring. So we can use these as platforms. Interesting. Okay, so I don't want to do that. Ah, so I just want to scroll every time I get a chance. Oh, I did it again! I released it too early. At least this has really good checkpoints. Wow, that- that's actually really impressive through the checkpoints there. Is this also recursive? Where is this? Where am I? Oh, I keep forgetting I can just do that and fall wherever I want. Oh, goodness, that- <laughs> That always gets me. <sighs> Man, I'm having a lot of fun here. Let's see, what am I... what am I even looking at here? Okay, well, where we have that? It's really jarring, but I love it. Alright, so... Gotta explore. Hey, there you are! What would be the best way... to get you? Not like that. Like that! <laughs> I love this! This is really cool! It's like- it's like I just created my own platform! Wow, that is neat! This game- this game continues to amaze me. Where am I now? Where do I want to go, actually? No, really, what do I want to do here? Oh, it is recursive! Okay, I just didn't go all the way to the side here, so now... Yeah, there we go! <laughs> Man, this, these recursion puzzles are great! Death. Duly noted. Okay, what's over here? Can I make that jump? No. What would be a good way? How would I do that? Because we already determined I can't make that jump there, yeah. That- that jump is just not- that is not a jump that can be made. I 
don't want to stop rapping when I'm in the upper area, because then I'll just fall into the static, and even if I were to immediately rap again, I think it would just... Yeah, I think that'd be a bad idea. Yep, that is a- that is purely a bad idea. Oh, hey! Oh, nope, that's the same height, actually. I thought that maybe that wasn't the same height, but it unfortunately is the same height. Yep, that is not the proper course of action to take. I... I feel like an idiot now. Like, uh, cause I think... Can I just, uh... Could I not do... This? Yeah! <laughs> Holy crap, why didn't I do that a long time ago? So now I can do my original plan here. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted to do originally. Ta-da! <laughs> Really good puzzles. Oops, come on. There we go. This is really clever. Oh my gosh. That is jarring. Really? So, I want to use the area down here as a buffer zone, I guess? Oh, well that was, uh... Hmm. That was one of my not-so-good ideas. Ah, yes! Buffer zone. There's plenty of heads-up warning, might I add. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. are different sizes as well, which is interesting. Wait, did it change? What happened? Oh, it did change, it just was delayed because I bugged the game out. Alright, fair enough. Okay, what's the deal with the lower screen now? Oh, I just wanted to get to the lower screen. Oops, that was really dumb of me. Ah, ah. Hey, I see. Oh no, I don't see. <laughs> I I pressed control way too early there. Okay, I can just make that jump. I did not expect that, actually. Fair enough. Achievement unlocked a full year. I guess that was all the seasons, wasn't it? Wow, this is very minimalist. Oh... What's happening here? What, I separated them? Oh, this is-
this is, uh, <laughs> this is creepy. What's going on? I can't swap here. Oh, I can just make that jump. Alright. Am I on a time limit here? What's going on? This is very creepy. Oh man, that was a leap of faith. It's getting smaller and smaller. Please, let me see. What? What just happened? Whoa! Holy crap. Why is that- why does it feel tilted now? Holy crap. Wow, this is also really lagging very badly right now, but... What did I... What did I just do? Oh, it just- okay, it just follows me. And it's tilted for... cool effect... reasons. So it's basically the same as it was before, but it just looks a lot cooler. Oh, why is there a diagonal now? You guys see that diagonal, right? That's not- not just me? Wow, this actually... It's like- it's like it makes it easier to understand what's happening here. Is that what they're seeing? That is... bizarre. It's also lagging really badly, but that's- that's fine. <laughs> oh, wow. Sorry, I can't do this justice with the frame rate, but four-sided fantasy. What a cool game! I'd say that was worth my money. Achievement unlocked. That's a wrap. <laughs> yes, indeed, that is a wrap. Very well done to all these people. I really thoroughly enjoyed this game. This was an excellent experience. I did buy it on sale. I'm not sure if I would say it was worth full price, but it was definitely worth the sale price for me. Well, we have completed this very short game, so check the card at the top right of the video and vote for the next game I should play. I really enjoyed the mechanics in this game, like, it- once- once it exhausted all the possibilities of, like, uh, one of the mechanics, it would- it would change the rules on you, and Changing the rules is a really cool thing to see in a puzzle game. As long as it's explained, and they did a really good job of explaining it. I don't mind the fact that there wasn't any story. That it didn't need story, it was just a puzzle game. That the cameras were very mysterious. And it, I think, you know, it fits with the theme of the game. As you'll see when we exit, it, uh... It fits with the theming of the menu and all that. Made possible by Kickstarter backers. Oh, I didn't know this was a Kickstarter game! That's... 
I might have actually seen it on Kickstarter and forgotten. Thank you to all these people for making this game possible. Also, whoever composed the soundtrack did a really good job. The, the ambience in the background, really nice. The visual effects are, you know, a bit much, but they, they are cool to have. But they, they do put a lot of strain on my computer, and I could not find a way to turn them off. There, I couldn't find any configuration files, there were no options in the menu that I could find. So, yeah, <laughs> poor frame rate throughout the whole playthrough, unfortunately. But, you know, that happens. I'm planning to hopefully get a newer graphics card, uh, eventually. Maybe this year. I don't know. It all depends. So many Kickstarter backers. <laughs> Kickstarter addict. Digipin Pier? Lots of cool games come from Digipin. Man, we're only halfway through the credits, there's... there's so many backers. Somebody's Twitter handle there, Xbox Betty. The chromatic aberration at the top and bottom of the screens is really throwing me off. Speaking of chromatic aberration, uh, you guys should check out Keith Ballard. He likes to comment on chromatic aberration in pretty much every game he plays. Because <laughs> so many of the games he plays has chromatic aberration in it. Like, he's played uh, the Turing Test, he's played Event. Event Zero, Horizon, or whatever. He's played... He's playing Portal Stories Mel right now, I think, unless he finished it by the time this video comes out. He's also played The Witness and The Talos Principle, if you're interested. So yeah, click his card. Go check him out. Tell him I sent you. Alright, so as always, thank you all for watching, I really appreciate it, and you can show your appreciation with the two buttons below the video. New Game Plus. Hmm, we might be checking that out next episode. Anyway, goodbye!